Hello to you travellers and welcome back to the Best Criminal Channel here on YouTube with the update that everyone wants to know. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been getting comments about this for so, so long now or since the title update. 18 released for FC24. A lot of people's mods have stopped working. It's one of those big updates where the live editor and the mod manager do not work anymore. So, of course, your boy, the Best Karima channel on YouTube, is here with a fix for you Guys, ladies and gentlemen, I've not played FC24 for a while now, so I just updated my game last night, and we have a plethora of new mods to download, install, and check if they are indeed working, including a brand new live editor. I'm going to show you how and where to get that later on, ladies and gentlemen, so stick around for that. We're trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2024, so do your part, subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below, let me know your favorite color in the comments down below, and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get modding. I also can't bother putting up a green screen today because I'm going to get a display case that looks really nice. So I'm starting to record more of our green screen. So that's why there's no green screen. We're going to dive right in though, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Google, zoom in and type in FC24 Mod Manager. Of course, if you want to know who the best Karima channel on YouTube is, the best modding channel on YouTube, you can see right here our video from nine months ago right at the very top. As soon as you Google FC24 mods, my videos show up. That's because we're legit and we are the GOAT. There's also another one if you scroll down. So there you go. There's also another one if you scroll down even more. If you want to keep scrolling, just watch all my old videos. Click on this top link right here. I'll send you to this page. If there's a little pop-up, just click off it and it will go away. We need mod manager. So click on download button right here. Let me resize the screen so you can actually see what's going on. And then in the bottom right, click on download. Now, once you downloaded that, open your files and something I like to do is make a folder called FC24 Mods and inside that I type in all of my type 2 updates. So I just made a new one, title update 18. As you can see, I have title update 4, 5, 6, 12, 11, 15, 16. I have every single type 2 update that we've had all in their very own folder. Uh, when you download the Mod Manager, you'll get it in a folder like this, a red, blue and green uh, book stacked folder looking thing right click on it hover over winrar or 7zip whatever you use to extract folders and click on extract here once that extracts you will get a yellow folder with a white paper inside double click on that and there is your fifa mod manager double click on that to open it it will take a second out the first time opening it'll come up with a little box saying what game are you trying to mod now if you're playing fc24 just click on fc24 if you're still on fifa 23 or fifa 22 click on that and that will be the game that you are modding when you open this up for the first time it will all be completely empty so you know what because i want this to be easy for you guys i'm going to remove every single mod and there we go. This is how your FIFA mod manager will look. So now we need some mods. There are a few extra steps, but first we're going to find some mods. So type in FC24 mods. And again, you can see my videos show up because that's how good we are. Now we just have to find some mods that we want, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, all these links will be in the description down below. Instead of you even Googling, you can just click in the description. Uh, Kia Karima. This was three days before my birthday. Thank you for the birthday messages, by the way, from all you guys that left a comment. If you didn't, leave a comment for my birthday uh, two days ago. Leave a comment on this video saying happy birthday and you will be forgiven. Uh, I recommend playing uh, again here. If it says title up to 18, you are good to go. This is a career mode mod which, with a bunch of career mode improvements. I'm going to get it. So I'll click on this Google Drive link. It'll load into the download page. And up here, click on this download button. It will start downloading in the top right corner. There we go. I've already downloaded it before, but it's a new updated version. So it still says the two. We can go back and look. There's a Kia gameplay mod. Now, I do have my own gameplay mod from Anth Gameplay Mod, but even still, I like to download more gameplay mods just to test them out. Sometimes you want to change it up a bit and use a different gameplay mod. So we're going to download that one as well. well again, it already says I've downloaded it before, but it is a new one. Hyo's Hyper Realistic Gameplay Mod. Uh, oh, Title Update 17. So this one's not been updated yet. Uh, and that also means none of these will be updated yet because it goes in order. So we are done with this website. Nexus mods. Oh, last update. Has this been updated? It says title update 11. I really... This was all the nations mod that I used before. I wish it was updated, but I don't think it is. Yeah, player editing career over. Oh, this is the legends mod. Yes, yeah, so if you want all the icons, that is this mod right here. Improve graphics. There's a few on Nexus. There are a few title update 18. Players are always happy if you want that. We can go to page two, Kia gameplay mod. 
Uh, better experience, career. He spelled career wrong. Realism gameplay mod. IMS got updated for title update 18. Lovely. These are great. So click on that link and you have to wait here. Click on I'm human. Three, two, one. Click on get link and you will get the link. Click on download and then you can go back. Click on the second one. Again, if a pop-up happens, just press Control w You'll close it straight away. I'm human. Three, two, one. Click on get link. And then click download. And I think there's one more. There is indeed the squad file. Click on I'm human. Three, two, one. And click on get link and then download. It's literally so easy. I mean, I don't understand how some people get so, so many issues with modding. It's so easy. Uh, this mod correctly... Uh, this mod works correctly only when using Russian, Ukrainian localization. We are working on Portuguese and other local... KBR mod. Is this different to IMS? Oh, these scoreboard switchers also here. Well, if you want the scoreboard switcher, download it here. I use the scoreboard switcher. So you can use any scoreboard in the world. I didn't know that was here. So click on that and download that as well. I'm going to download KBR too. I, I don't know what KBR is. I thought KBR was just a renamed version of the IMS mod. But now apparently they're different. Three, two, one. It's the exact same process for all of them. Click on get link. KBR. Oh, so are these the same KBR? Oh, they're just, they're just the same. 3.3 MS, 3. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm downloading. I think they're just the same. I don't think we need them. Okay, we're good then. Right, while they download, what do we... Oh, Clubber Clays, please tell me this title... Oh, it's not title update 18 yet. I love the menu more. None of these look to be updated just yet. So I think we are good to go. I'll just wait for these to download. While we're waiting for these to download, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. On this video, let the YouTube algorithm take us to new heights, ladies and gents. One more second, and we are good. All right, so open up your files again. Open up your title of the 18 file. You don't have to do this. It just makes it neater. Go to your downloads file and make sure you find all of your downloaded files. This one is taking its time still. I'll add that one after. Highlight all of your mods and drag them into title, uh, title of the 18. Once they all come over, we will need to extract them. So these ones, what I'm going to do, firstly, we can drag these ones straight in. These uh, black and purple icons are already mods. So like a TV icon, we drag it in and click apply mod. Now that one will launch when you launch the game. All the others, you need to right click, click on WinRAR, extract here. There is a password for eSIM. All right, so we're going to extract eSIM. And I'm going to do this one first. Now, there is a specific mod order that you have to follow. So, I'm going to drag that to my other monitor. And we're going to go through this one by one to get the right order. So, High Lod is first. Then it is Golnet. But I want the one for Anth Gameplay Mod because that's what I use. Then we have Gripper Socks, which are right there. Then we have No HUD. I really should delete them when I install them because then it would be easier. We have Turf's Reel. Then we have Lot color grading then we have the gameplay mods which i'll add after then we have cam reel and broadcast cam then we have database and then last but not least we have the performance pyramid news i'm gonna go for espn uh because why not esim we've done gameplay oh that's a big one so i'll save that for after tv logo we're gonna extract get a bunch of tv logos in here i'm gonna go for uh, what are we feeling to test today? I'll go for Euro BBC Sport. We, we, we've just done the Euros in real life. I'll go for the Euro logo. Let's get some gameplay mods going. I'm going to extract the Ant gameplay mod. Now, this is a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is version 21, so I'm going to slap that in. They said to put it above the lot color grading, I believe. Then we also get a bunch of add-ons, ladies and gentlemen. Mod order, options, help, other. If you, Yeah, so he, he helps you in all installing options. Options. We have a bunch of options to add, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to add a whole bunch and see what happens. We have a bunch of gameplay additions. Oh, my God. Look at them all. I'm going to put them above, uh, above the Ant gameplay mod. Uh, IMS, we can extract and get these involved as well. I'll get the faces extracting too. Uh, oh, goodness gracious me. There's a lot that we have to extract here in there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, license for Siri R. It gets a bit overwhelming. There's a lot, a lot going on. A lot going on. All right, licensing we need. Uh, Premier League badge we need. 
Tasks we already have. IMS we're going to add in. Uh, KBR face. I don't really know what that is. I'm guessing it's a face pack. We'll add in. It says installing at the top. There we go. We'll apply that as well. Um, What don't we have yet? Did I do you? No. Nope. You're extracting now as well. I think it made its own separate files somewhere. There's all in one mod. All in one realism. All in one unlock. We'll add both of them. Azil Serie A League Tournament Format. I don't know what that is. Uh, mods, that's what we have. Player Indicators Mod. Kia Gameplay Mod. I'm not going to install that one, but I'll have it in there. Career, Kia Career Mode I'll use. Um, I think... It does get a bit messy, but I think... That is all of them, ladies and gentlemen. 2.6 gigs of mods. That is what we're going to do. Now, normally what I do, I use an old mod to test if that's working as well. The Arsenal splash screen is going to say it's made for a different game version, but we're going to apply it anyway and see if it works. Now, if you go to one of my modding videos, including this one, in the description, it's going to have this, ladies and gentlemen. Copy and paste this to your EA slash Steam property. So highlight this right here. Click on Control C and then open up your EA app. Or if you have the game on Steam, you can open up Steam. Now, because the EA app is absolutely terrible, sometimes this happens for me where I try to open it and it just doesn't open. I need to restart my whole PC. So I'm going to have to stop recording, restart, and then come back up and get to this page. So for you, it's going to take a second. For me, it's going to take about five minutes. So bear with me. Russ, I've restarted my PC. The EA app is open. Click on Manage. Click on View Properties. And you have to... Oh, I haven't copied the thing now. Goodness gracious me. All right, go to my video. Go to the description. Copy, open EA app, and paste it just like that. If you are on Steam, I can show you how to do it on Steam as well. Go to your library. Find your EAFC, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right-click, click on Properties. And right here, you will see the same properties. Now, normally, you could just go and click launch. However, now we need the live editor. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new version of the live editor, version 24.1.1.8. Now, if you need this file, ladies and gentlemen, it will be in my Discord link in the description. Now, a fair warning once you join our amazing Discord. It's mainly an RPW Discord. So, when you join... Go to other and go to general chat, ladies and gentlemen. Sick and tired of people going to RPW Universe and talking because if you do go here and you try to talk to people, including RK, they will be ruthless and aggressive and angry at you, ladies and gentlemen. Go to general. Just ask nicely, yo, I need help with my mods. You know, can anyone help me? Don't spam because, again, this is quite a toxic discord. Be warned. People will shout at you. People will make fun of you. Don't join if you get easily offended, okay? But if you need help, join. Go to general and ask your questions and wait for someone to respond. So we're going to extract the live editor right here in my title update 18 mods. And as you can see, right here is the live editor. Now, what you can do is click on this little arrow up here and tick auto launch live editor. What that means, when you click on launch, it's going to come over the window saying yes or no. Do you want to launch your live editor? Click on yes. Now, this says you get a risk of getting banned. I've been using this since FIFA 20. I've never got banned. Click on OK. It will launch your live editor. This says no data path command was there, even though I'd done it. Just click force add and click continue. And now the game will launch, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to plug in my controller and we will see if these mods did indeed load in. Little reminder, we are trying to reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of 2024. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video if it did indeed help you launch your FC24 mods. Uh, 50k around the corner. It would be amazing to reach before the end of the year and then we can focus on 100,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. FC25 is around the corner. The best career mode channel on YouTube. If you do enjoy career modes and player career modes, subscribe to this channel. We have daily uploads, live streams of RPW every Monday and Friday and so much more. Ladies and gentlemen, get involved, join the Discord and have some fun. Now we wait. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your butts. It is injecting. Let's be having you. Let's get set. Let's get ready. Is the game launching? Oh, if it comes up with this, ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is close it and relaunch your game. Sometimes it comes up basically saying, oh, you haven't got any. Just reload your game. You'll be fine. I sometimes like when we get stuff like that because when our stuff messes up, it shows people that sometimes mods mess up. Sometimes it doesn't launch the way it should. And sometimes you have to relaunch or do something else. So I kind of like when mine messes up. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're talking. You see, just redo it. And as you can see, that was a Tire Update 8 mod. 
that Arsenal Gold Splash screen was a Title Update 8 mod. And sometimes old mods still work. So just because it's not Title Update 18 doesn't mean it will not work. Uh, as you saw right there. I'm going to give it a second to load. You can see the IMS mod is already there with the logo on the screen. You may be able to tell it looks a little bit different. There is the uh, live editor. You press F9 to open that. I also have a reshade on, which is why it looks a bit darker. Uh, let's go into a kickoff and see. I mean, we know the mods are working, but just to double show you, I like to load into a game and see what's going down. As you can see, AS Roma have their licensing. Atlanta, Inter, Lazio, all stuff like that. We're going to do uh, a bit of Arsenal. I'll tell you one thing I didn't copy over is the kit mod. Did I? Oh, yeah, there we go. So they have the new kits. Again, the mini picture doesn't work because that's a different mod. But they have the real life kits. Again, this Arsenal kit is what they played in real life. So they have the real life kits, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for all of the teams that we have seen. I'll go in our black kit. They can go in the blue kit. Uh, and we'll just launch into the game and see if it works. I do have my game muted because I was playing clubs the other night and I mute the game because it sounds awful. Sky Sports Premier League Live. You can see the camera mode is already working because it's also uh, already really zoomed out. Uh, the scoreboard switcher, well, we're in the Premier League, so that not really showing off much. Can we get a tackle? Maybe get an attack. Oh, nice through ball. The goalkeeper's there. You can see the camera mods, the graphic mods, and everything like that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how... You update and install your mods for Title Update 18 on FC24. Hopefully this did help you. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if it did, please do leave a thumbs up on the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, much as always, take care and happy modding. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Whee! Yeah. Easy to see the truth. I never want this to burn out. I never...